Ken Espinosa is in Port St. Lucie tonight. And I know some of the people you spoke with tonight have family in Cuba, family they are worried about. Yes, more than 100 Cubans came out here to Port St. Lucie to protest this evening. And some tell me they're doing anything they can here because they have family on the island that are struggling. I send money to Cuba and even with money, they cannot buy food. They cannot buy the basic things they need for, for live, to live. Calls for Cuba's freedom rang in Port St. Lucie. As more than 100 people stood on the corner of US-1 and Walton Road. We were here, as you can tell, I mean, no one knew PSL could turn up so much. This protest comes as Cubans across the island have also mobilized. We had to leave our country to come here for a better life and they're stuck over there living in oppression. They can't even buy food, can't buy, they, they cut the lights, they cut the water, they cut the internet. But for some, this lack of communication is heartbreaking because they have kids living in Cuba. Even my kids yesterday, when I called them to, in another, you know, another way to Skype, the call goes down because they cannot hear me, you know, because they cut the communication. Which is why many are standing on the corner, screaming for liberty. Oh, that's, uh, that's very hard. That's why I'm here. You know, normally I don't, I don't do this kind of stuff because I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm not this kind of person, you know, I never riot. But this time, I feel inside my heart that I need to do it. At one point, the protesters even blocking some traffic, but the demonstration was peaceful. Reporting live in Port St. Lucie, Anna Espinosa, WPBF 25 News.